Hey guys, Marcella here. I'm here with a brow video actually. A lot of you have been asking me. So yeah, let's get started. I'm starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, the number 12. It's an angled flat brush and then on the other side it has a spoolie. Going into the brow, I'm gonna start brushing my hairs up and then the outside out. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Out dip brow pomade in medium brown this part is very crucial to be as perfect as you can so I'm gonna start by placing the brush sideways into the pot and then just do one side and then flip the brush to do the other side now if you feel like you got a little too much product you can use the cap and just flip it into the inside and then just do the same motions as you did into the pomade but this time you're removing any excess product. I'm starting off underlining the brow in a streak motion. I don't like to start it at the front of the brow but a little further down because sometimes the brush has a little more product than um, usually so starting off a little bit further down is going to help me know how much product i have on the brush i'm going to do the same on the top and this time i'm going to go a little bit further down on the top too and then just connect the tail now that i have connected these two lines i'm going to start filling in the brow starting towards the end of the tail and working my way to the front notice that i haven't gotten more product uh, the brush has enough product to fill in the brow all the way to the front. Using those small same strokes from the beginning, I'm going to start going into the front of the brow with no excess product, just what I have on the brush already, and just start blending uh, the beginning of the line to the line I had started with. This is where I grabbed a little bit more product. As you can see, I'm gonna start filling in the part that are, is already filled in just to test out the waters and see how much product I have on the brush. This is the part where I'm gonna show you how to make fake hairs in the front. You're going to flip the brush vertically and then you're gonna start doing kind of like flicker motions to make those fake hairs. Using the back part of the brush, the spoolie part, you can use it to blend out any areas that you feel like are a little harsh. I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. And honestly, you can use any concealer that you have at home. And also going in with the brush 224 from MAC. I'm going to use my hand as my palette to put a little bit of the concealer and that way I can have a cleaner uh, brush. And as you can see, I'm going to start by applying the brush on the flat part. Kind of letting the brush grab and absorb as much as it can, but not overloading it with product. For the concealer part, I am going to start from the beginning. I do want that harsh line starting from the beginning and that way it gives it a contrast between light and dark and it gives it that crisp line. This method of cleaning the brow is also gonna help to conceal any hairs if you're trying to, you know, just grow them out or if you're just lazy, you know, like me, and you just wanna cover them up. On this top part, I'm not gonna start at the beginning. Like I said, I don't want it to be harsh at the front. I do want it to look natural. So I'm gonna start a little bit further down and then just do the same strokes all the way down to the end. Without grabbing any more product, just what it has on the brow, uh, I mean on the brush, I'm going to start blending it towards the front and then just kind of make little strokes at the beginning. That way it gives it the kind of like the dimension and um, the faux hair. Now using my phalanges, I'm just going to use them to blend everything out. That way it makes it seem like my brows are naturally clean and crisp and ready to go. And bada boom bada bam, you get these nice crisp clean lines and some good banging brows. Yeah. So that was the end of the video. Thanks so much for everybody that supported me, that is supporting me, and everybody who watches my videos. I really appreciate it. 
a lot goes into uh, making these videos but it's so exciting it's so much fun so thanks so much for watching it and i hope to see you on my next one bye